entertainment, the idea started trying to tell people that our folks are okay. Well, how are y'all doing today? <laughs> y'all ready to have fun? Yeah! How y'all ready to have fun? Yeah! Seeing the excitement that they have when they feel accomplished, when they feel like they're where they need to be. It's all over them. All right, first, no. when we run through the show, it's going to be Be Our Guest. Um, we've got a few people holding the roses, and you're all going to be holding candlesticks, and we're going to go through the crowd. We did, like, the hand jive. I was wearing a pink poodle skirt. So we did grease lighting and a hand drive. Like people get happy, they clap their hands, they get excited. Some people are kind of scared of our guys because they don't know what to say or how to approach them. And they might call them names and, and that kind of hurts their feelings. And I love them here. We're like a family, a big family. They want the same things that adults, you, you and I want. I mean, they want to have a job. They want to get their driver's license. They want to find love. I know all the staff here are always making events, and they always do a big trip stuff, like boating. We are a social and recreational facility. We try to be the social life for our participants. So many parents have said after high school is over that their participant would just be at home by themselves all day um, or watching TV and sitting there and they get depressed and they don't feel like they have anyone to connect with but they come here and they make friends and they connect with other people that are like them. You know I can't imagine walking the path that a lot of these parents have had to walk years and years and years ago this population were institutionalized and they were bathed against the wall and so the education to the community is tremendous so everyone can see that they can be included. They can hold a job. And I work on Wednesdays. It's busy too. What do you do there? The mail. We run through mail through a machine and do stamps on them. And I like to help out with the staff. But every time, uh, every time the staff goes somewhere shopping and every time they get back I have to go with the groceries and put it by the kitchen. It makes me feel like, um, uh, happy, smart. They always love me, forever. Yeah, we're not a daycare. You know, our participants come here, and the most important thing to me is for them to have social skills so that they can be productive members of society. Washing hands and exercise and um, healthy things to eat. Of course, you know, the needs are always monetary. You know, you hate that part of it, but that is part of it. If there's something we need, Trisha has made sure that we have it, that we have the staff, that we have the vans, we have the facility. The need is to figure out which child is sitting at home that doesn't know about us. I mean, money so solves certain problems, but this is bigger than money. At entertainment, I had a parent come up to me afterwards and said um, he was sitting at a table. It happened to be that the three parents sitting at that table all had children with Down syndrome. In their conversation, they said, we never thought anyone would ever speak to our children or our children would ever have the opportunity to do anything. And he said, now we're sitting here looking at our three children on stage entertaining 350 people at the best venue in Birmingham. I mean, that's called giving back. That's pretty good. <laughs>